Hello Kitty always sells for me. Always. So this is a Hello Kitty match it game. So make a match. So you have to match the cards. I'm good at that. I might keep Hello Kitty. <laughs> that was 50 cents. All right. Yep. That was 50 cents. And then I have this glorious Mickey backpack. Now, he does, you know I buy Disney if you watch me. He, he does have a little pocket in here. So I'm thinking you can put something in there. But it is little, so it's not a real backpack. But it is if you want to just bring some money for lunch. If the kid wants to bring some money for lunch, the kid. Or, you know, just little cute things, whatever. But here he is. This is how big he is. Okay. Say hi, Mickey. All right. He was a dollar twenty-five. That just sounded like a bell. Oh. Oh, is there something with the mirror? Let's see. Oh, there's still a piece of plastic on it. Good. So this is Cinderella, as you see, and it's this little music box. And it is by, it says, Disney Princess, Disney Theme Park, Merchandise. And the tune is, So This Is Love. And this, oh, the top is beautiful. Now, remember, it was half of what it says on there. So it was half of $350. let us see, guys, $175? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Can you think math, math like really quick in your head? Let me know. And let me know what you like best about this haul when it comes to it at the end. I always love knowing. So this was a, is a Polly Pocket play set. And I've had a couple of them that sold. You know what, guys? I didn't even open this up and I probably should have. Because it does say um, Polly Pocket figure inside. So I'm going to open it now and see if it has, I hope it has some little things in there too. It sounded like it did. Let's see if I knew how to open it. Maybe not. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness. I love these. They're so cute. So yeah, and I have sold a couple of these. So this was $2. Let me know if you think that was a good price. I think on one that I sold, I only got $15, but the other one I got $30. Ooh, this is heavy. So here we go. This was half, so this was $2. It is a pencil holder and notepad or whatever you want to put there, really. Your phone, maybe. Let's see. Would my phone fit? Hold on. I'm checking it out. Uh, no, but a smaller one would, and it might even fit if, if. I didn't have a case on. So this is $4, $2. So yeah, if I didn't have a case on my phone, you could forget about it. So this was half. So this was $150. Now I just noticed she's missing her nose. So that's not good. Unless it's in here. This is Walt Disney Showcase Collection. Perfect Sweetheart. Parfait Amour. Disney. Oh, I hope that her nose is in here. I'll keep her or I'll let them know, the buyers know, that it was my mistake. Not that it was my mistake, that she's a little flawed and they might have to put something on her that's a nose. I'm just taking some things out because I got lots of plates. So here I got an Oscar de la Rente men's sweater. And guys, I send this in to the real real. This was three dollars. It's a size large. I also, of course, sometimes put them on Poshmark first. But if I just send it into the real real, I don't have to take pictures. Let me know if you send anything into the real real or thread up or anything like that, and which you like better. I have dealt with um, also thread up and I do like the real real better I have to say they do send you back a lot of clothes but 
it's no cost to you. And I found that they really just take the ones that they know will sell over the next few months. So I can't complain. So it's just, you think you have every, all these things out of your house and you don't. If you hear, oh, I was going to say, if you hear a dog barking right now, that's my bird, but it's not, it's actually the dog. All right. So then I got for a dollar fifty all these Mickey figures. Some are older than others. It's for the Disney shows. I like doing special Disney sales. It's fun. So Vionic, I'm always hearing everybody say they make money on Vionics. So these were half. Yeah, so these were $2.00. <laughs> They're a big size. Let's see what size they are. And I don't mean that in any disrespectful way. They're a size 12. <laughs> I did that because something came out of it, but it was jewelry that was in my bag. I thought it was a bug. I don't know why I thought that was a bug. All right, guys. So let's talk a little bit while I'm showing these things about as a reseller, how is your mental state? Do you get upset over things? So this was $18 in the store, collectible tins. So not, I didn't pay $18 for it. I paid a dollar, <laughs> but it's showing that it was $18 in the store. My bird's going to have a funny little laugh storm. Now, this was, this is Yiddish with Dick and Jane. And my husband's Jewish, as you know, if you watch me. If not, he is. So I just thought that was cute. It was a dollar, but I actually got this for free today. For the hubby, I should say. He got it for free. This I bought because it was only a quarter and it's my first read and learn Bible. And I thought that was really cool. It's really colorful and it's a great way to learn. And it's just a really nice book. I'm sorry. When my bird starts laughing like this, I want to laugh, but I'm not going to. Oh, then I got these Christmas earrings, and if you haven't heard me say it before, guys, Christmas sells all year. Listen to that. It really does. It's selling. I sell at least right now online about four Christmas items a week and offline, and when I say that, I mean on my live sales. I can't tell you how many. So this is just a heart but it had, it is signed. Let's see if we could see the signature. No, but I'm going to find out what the signature is. This was a quarter. So even if I get $10 for it, it's worth it, but it may be a name brand because it does have a signature. So this one they threw in because I bought a lot of jewelry. I think it just has to be cleaned, but this one was free. This, I sell things like this. I was going to say a lot, but I should say most of the time when I have things like this in my closet, they sell. This was 50 cents. Then this cute little pin, and I do sell pins, and sometimes in bundles, and I think this one would go in a bundle. This was half, so this was 25 cents. My bird, I'm telling you. I got this, and this is, I am almost positive, a Betty Johnson pendant, because... I got quite a few more the other day. I wish I knew where they were because I'd show you them. I don't think I showed you them the other day. This came with the chain. Let me see if it says anything. Yes, it is. Betsy Johnson. And this 
was 75 cents. 75 cents. That I'm seeing online for in between 20 and 40. Then I thought this was a very different little Wrangler. I believe it was a watch. Let me just make sure. Um, a pocket watch. I got to figure out how to open it. Let me just show. Here is this beautiful angel. It's a JJ. You could tell that someone had to re-glue this part back on, but I will put that in the description. And then I just love these little hearts. 75 cents. I'm just going to keep them. I'll put them away right now in case I can't find anything for Valentine's Day, even though I have a store. So this I just thought was really cute. It says best. And then it's a guitar with rhinestones on it. And let's see if this is, I don't think it's a name, but it might be. So let's see. Oh, it is. This is a, yo. Oh, it's a Claire's. So this was 50 cents. Then I just saw this little frame pin and I thought it was so great. And this is Rio. Wear a little picture of somebody on you. Would you wear a picture of someone on you? Let me know. Here's another angel. Brooch, another brooch. And this says Christmas wishes 1997. Not quite, wait, 2000. Yes, it is. It's vintage. This, I just thought it was the cutest thing. I know someone who loves frogs will like this. If I could get it to lay right. Come on, froggy. So it's a frog necklace. <laughs> so cute. He leans against that. So this was 75 cents. <laughs> then I have this. And I think it's going to go online. But I know my friend would love it. So I'm thinking about it. So it's this great dragon. Dragon. One... One second. Whoops, there it is. I'm sorry about that. So this ended up being 150. Very cute. Couple more pieces of jewelry. Oh, they must have threw this in too. That's pretty. Is it a bracelet that oh yeah. Oh. Maybe it's for kids. I don't know. Is is this a bracelet, guys? Look at how tiny it is. Let's see, does it say anything? No, but it is old because it's starting to get, what's the green called? I think it starts with a P. Oh boy, I can't remember. And that is it in the box. However, I do still have a couple of things and some plates. Now, I normally don't pick up plates, but I'll tell you why I picked these up when I get to them. So I thought this was cool. It's a trivia dispenser. And it has all different things, art and literature, literature, why can't I say literature? It has general knowledge, video games, etc., etc. It was $2, half price for a dollar. So I thought that was cool. And then this I got because anything wooden is worth money. This was two fifty. It was five and half of that was two fifty. And this has a whole music set in it and more. So guys, yeah. And it's I don't know if it is all Melissa and Doug, but it's Melissa and Doug. Let me just put this back in before I show you our next beautiful thing. So these are plates. These are decorative plates that people, you know, can hang on the wall or put in their china closet but these caught my eye because they're from 1989 so they were supposed to be 350 each but I got one two three four five six seven 
four. Wait, no, they weren't. They were supposed to be three fifty, one seventy five each. So I don't know how much it is altogether. Let's say thirteen dollars. And they gave me all of these for seven. So we got this one as I showed, and this is the sweet of the corn Kellogg's. Ooh, hello. This little guy. I'm still going to look these up. I didn't look them up, but even if I have to put them in bundles, I'll still make back my money and more. But plates do take long. You have to definitely find the right uh, people. But what I might do, I'm thinking of going on a new a new uh, platform. So I'll let you know if I do because I think they'd sell better over there. But I'll tell you more about it. I just realized I forgot to look for Minnie's nose at the bottom, but I'll look after I take all of the pictures. So I hope you enjoyed this today. Had some vintage, had some Disney, had the Beatles. What else? Oh, and even had the Oscar de la Rente. Hey, sometimes I find good things. I always find good things, I feel. That will sell, but I mean, sometimes I feel quality items that I'll make more money on. Hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe. 94% of you aren't subscribed. Now that I have more people viewing, it's a higher percentage. So come on, give it a subscribe. Hit that bell so you get more content. And I will see you soon. I really appreciate you. My name is Marion. I'm the Smiley Thrifter. And I hope to see you again soon. Oh,